What's going on guys? Today's a little bit different. I want to talk about my 2016 new to me CRF 250L as a beginner rider and some of the things I've already done to it. Um, my next video is probably going to be me showing you guys like uh, how it entails being a shorter rider. I'm standing at 5'7 and this bike is sort of on the taller side for me um, but I can still manage it and then I know there's already a bunch of videos of people talking about height for motorcycles and stuff, but that way I can show you my perspective. And hopefully that helps. If not, it'll be just kind of a fun video and maybe some riding videos in the future. So I've had this bike for about three weeks now. I'm still learning a lot and doing a lot of mechanical stuff to it, just checking up on it and making sure everything's put away pretty well. Um, I did put a new throttle bodies um, on there and the hand guards I think came either the first or second owner. I did put some pro taper bars on there with an adapter because I like this style a lot better. Um, just reminds me a lot more of a mountain bike and I'm very comfortable in a mountain bike. So there's kind of that. Um, I put a, a Trubies, um skid plate. This is the OEM one, super flimsy. And it just kind of sits between the frame right here inside. So it doesn't really protect anything besides maybe some dirt. And I actually put a Supermoto Fender on this, also by um, Acherby's, um, just because they have all the parts for everything. And the the front, the stock one is like pretty good already. I just don't like how long it looks. So this bike will see dirt, but it's mostly going to be road for now, just because a little bit of a rainy season in California right now, and it's kind of cold. So I don't know how much riding I'll do, but. I think that looks a lot better too, just like a shorter front fender, uh, exhaust is stock, everything else is, besides that is pretty much stock. The, it already came with a, like a tail tidy kit. So there's no blinkers. Uh, it looks like they had the, the mounts for them and then, but they're integrated into the, the brake light, which is really nice. So I, I'm glad I didn't have to do that. Um, and just like I said, going over small things, I, you know, I thought the bike was pretty squared away when I purchased it, and it, it was, but there were some things that needed to be adjusted. Um, there was like a missing bolt. That bolt right there that holds, that covers the battery was kind of stripped out, so I kind of had to wiggle that back out and re-thread it. And the chain was like super sloppy, um, like chain lube everywhere on the uh, rear of the bike. So I had to clean that up. And there's a lot of gunk in the front sprocket. I think that's just from all the chain lube that um, one of the previous owners had been using on there because it, it looked like there's just a bunch of excess So there's just a lot of grime in there. So I kind of cleaned that out um, The engine oil is good. It looks like the coolant's good, too and Everything else is pretty squared away. It's just small things and learning about it But I wanted to show you guys. I'm really happy with the purchase. It's like the perfect power bike for me It's definitely not great on the freeway like everybody had already mentioned um, especially when there's a little bit of wind out, it kind of wobbles past 65. Um, but if I'm just cruising at 65 on like a sunny day and it's relatively warm out, um, that way the chill factor isn't as bad. It's it's really comfortable. I, I, I don't, I think I want to do longer rides on it and hopefully I can show you guys some riding videos. But this is the uh, old handlebar that a lot of people change out. I think the guy actually changed, changed them out to be um, this set. So the OEM set, because I heard they're pretty weak but this looks like a different brand um this is the old throttle body tube gold grip so it's kind of mangled up and i mean it got the job done but it was pretty ugly so i had to uh, loosen the throttle body cables and get that on and the dude whoever installed this some pretty gnarly looking holes he cut for everything which is not very nice looking so a lot happier with these pro taper bars uh, i only had to drill the hole for this side i chose to put extra thick tape um and wrap it around the bar and then that way these don't move at all and the bike's only got about 1900 miles on it right now i bought it with 1300 miles so about 500 miles of just blasting around um having some fun on it um a couple little scratches from the previous owner very light probably took it on a trail ride or something right here but um overall the bike is in i think pretty good condition really happy with it like i said um but wanted to show you guys 
for a teaser for other videos. And there will be more videos for the Frontier. It's just a little slower because gas prices are ridiculous right now. And I, I don't really drive it as much. And I haven't done any trips recently. But those will soon to become. I do want to get some work done on that and do some other small modifications. If you check out the last video, um, if you didn't, I didn't put it in the thumbnail or anything or the, uh, the picture. But there was some small work done there. So if you guys want an update on that. But appreciate your guys' views and should have another view. Uh, sorry, video coming up soon.